I think that Rebecca Brooks has made the right decision to resign. I think it's overdue. But I said when I called for her resignation 10 days ago that this wasn't just about one individual. This was about the culture of an organisation. And I'm very disturbed when I hear Mr Murdoch saying that they've handled this situation extremely well with only some minor mistakes. I don't think any of the poor innocent families caught up in this would say that the minor mistakes have been made by this organisation. I think he needs, when he comes before the House of Commons on Tuesday, to start accepting some responsibility himself for what happened. And he needs to start by apologising to all the families who've seen their lives blighted by the actions of his organisation. Do you think the debate about News International and phone hacking is overshadowing issues like Libya and it's overshadowing issues like council cuts, which are actually beginning to bite now on the street? I think we've got to be talking about all the issues that people are concerned about and not just phone hacking. And that's what I'm here to do today, to talk about how we can improve council services, because I think that's a really important issue. Uh, here in Rochdale, they're trying to pioneer a new approach to housing, to involve local communities uh, in the decisions that are made about housing. So we've got to get phone hacking right, we've got to clear up uh, all of the issues involved, and we've also got to focus on the other bread and butter issues that people are facing in their lives. On the cooperative councils, you're here in Rochdale, what do you think places like Rochdale and Manchester and all the other councils taking part can teach uh, other councils who are making cuts? What's their approach? How can that help? About, I think it's what it's about saying is that the decisions that people want made in their lives about the things that affect them, like housing, shouldn't just be made by councillors, shouldn't just be made by council officers, they should be made by people themselves. And all of our experiences, if you involve people in decision making, like tenants in decisions about uh, their council house or their uh, block of flats, that will make a big, big difference to the quality and their involvement. So that's the kind of thing that we're talking about. We're talking about ways in which people themselves can take control of the decisions that matter to them. Rochdale pioneered the cooperative movement initially. Can they do it again? Absolutely. And I'm very proud that we're here to launch the Labour Co-op Council's initiative here in Rochdale because Rochdale is the pioneering home of the cooperative movement. And I think it's more relevant than ever for the 21st century. And just take young people themselves and their decisions they want to make about youth services, for example. Again, that's some, something where we can put power in the hands of them. And I think that lots of other councils are going to be following Rochdale's lead. Brilliant. Thank you, Ed.